feels good. <clears throat> it's time to finish this. Making sure my mic's on. <laughs> okay, let's go. Wasting no time. <clears throat> what was I doing? I was going this way, apparently. Did I get everything in here? Can't use that again. Not that way. I guess we need to turn the power on. <coughs> she walks at a snail's pace. Swear. You. Wait, have you been in there? Oh, that's locked. Can I open the snow? Nope. Can I open that now? No. I just saw something run in that room. Security lift morgue. Morgue. Uh, 
Where the fuck is the lift? Is that the lift? Right there? That little box? I guess so. How do I get in there? Through security. Through the film. Okay. <clears throat> She is the slowest person ever, I swear. Broken belt. Well. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm streaming. I'm streaming. Padded cells won't be able to hear what happens on the other side. Oh, great. Great. Syringe. Oh. It's pretty big. It looks like they used it a lot. They don't. They didn't have disposable syringes. Ew. Yo, what up, Sarsay? <clears throat> oh boy. Ariadne's lost drawings. Daniel, when I met you, you were an invalid. Thought you ended up like this, like so many others, something, something, I don't know. Ah! <laughs> that was so loud. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, it said I wouldn't be able to hear it's on the other side. Okay, I'm gonna assume this thing, the square at the end is the lift and I'm just gonna go turn that on. Uh, 
Uh, we gotta go this way. Nothing like an instant death to uh, start off good old stream. <coughs> She walks so fucking oh. slow. Oh no. What's going on? Do I shit do it? I thought it was a high door at first. I swear, she is the slowest walker. Yes, if I could place a belt, maybe I could get the lift to work again, but this one I was broken. What? Uh-uh. 
I have to go all the way back there. I mean, obviously I have to get the fucking stapler. And staple the super belt together. I forgot, now I have the flares, I can go in that one room with the darkness. <clears throat> Yoda Marie Uh need fast. That's the key. Oh. Yes, glove. I'm pretty sure that's all I needed was the glove. Watching you in the background while I finish up schoolwork. That <laughs> piled up while I was out of it. Ugh. John, m my husband. Uh, so John was sick before me. He got me sick. Um, that's fine. Um, he he missed out a lot of a, on a lot of schoolwork because he was sick too. <laughs> so he's literally in the other room doing that. <laughs> Alright, even though we're wearing fucking a hoodie. I'm glad I'm not alone in this. Even though I'm wearing a fucking hoodie, I have to put on stupid fucking gloves to reach through the glass. To get the stapler. Yes. Oh yeah, staple it. Oh yeah. Now I get to go back to the creepy fucking lift. Okay, I have the fan directly on me again now, so. I don't know whether to run. Oh, it's a rat that keeps walking along that. She walks so fucking slowly. I'm trying to get crazy. <clears throat> Earlier though, my ears popped. I can finally hear my right ear again. So nice. I can hear again. 
So I like when I first started this, I had my volume, you know, what it's been at. Uh, it's been all the way up. And I was like, holy fuck, that first scare fucking like blew me out of my seat. It was so loud. Oh god. Ew. Ding. I missed the first bunch of these, I think. I was only... How pathetic would it be if this thing falls and I die in here? I missed the first bunch of these, I think. I was only there for one scare and your scream scared me more than the game. <laughs> I popped my ear again and now I can't hear in my right ear, so that's nice. Oh! Not that way. Ow! Is odd, almost looks like a puzzle. Oh, huh? She blinks, awoken by hunger. Tis nighttime, and she listens. She takes flight swiftly, full silent. You scream as she tears you away from yourself. Satisfied, she lands on her nest. Uh, she blinks, awoken by hunger. She blinks, so welcome my hunger. Hunger and nighttime she listens. Eyes, ears. Takes flight, swift and lethal. Wings. You scream as she tears you away from yourself. Satisfied, she lands on her nest. Do. Hoots in the wind announcing her victory. Her firm grip paralyzes you. Blood spills as she feasts. Feet, mouth, wings. Feet, mouth, wings, eyes. Hell yeah. Smack you smack. Thank you so much for the follow, uh, Harcore06. Welcome, welcome. Deteriorated key. Q. 
he hit by the passage of time? What does that say? <coughs> Tag must have belonged to an employee, Alec Cedric, one of the hospital doctors. Letter from an artist, a brief message written by a friend of Dr. Beatrice Prestigard. I found this among the photos in History Magazine. It looks a lot like the drawings one of your patient, the little girl, does, doesn't it? I've attached a copy. It must be a coincidence, but even so, discovering the origins of the image made me shudder. It's from the walls of a newly discovered chamber in the caves of Altamira in Spain. The painting is from a Paleolithic local... Is from the Paleolithic. Local archaeologists have ruled that it's around 40,000 years old. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, staff lounge. It's very little left on the mantelpiece. Newspaper. What? Newspaper is uh, el eligible? I thought it was in el Whatever. <laughs> I can't read, apparently. Looks like someone left the lamp here on purpose. That's not creepy. At all. All right, well, we got a key. Next room. Huh. Bunch of old newspapers. Ew. Come in here. Uh, there's some kind of message stuck in a tube. There must be a mechanism that lets me get it out of there. Well. Debris. I got zero clothes going on, but it's pretty fucking scary in IDKY. <laughs> uh, not knowing what's going on or just the game in general. Because, yes, this game is pretty a uh, pretty creepy <laughs> uh, general examination by dr. Edward Saunders of the experiment performed by dr. Beatrice Prestigard five patients from the experimental group have disappeared all except for the original test subject Ariadne Legrand Amsberg I don't know if they have escaped or if the wall swallowed them but they've left no trace security did not register any relevant incidents either I look for I looked for the doctor to inform her of this but she's nowhere to be found when I asked Ariadne if she had seen her she shook her head and asked me if she was finally there i asked her what she meant but she didn't say anything else it has been impossible to re-establish communication with her i have a terrible feeling about this the vibe the game gives off oh for sure hundred percent very creepy we are also in this uh mental institution these documents belong to the hospital doctor nothing re nothing regarding beatrice prestigard Plants. Ew. Jeremy Hartwood, founder of the institution, he was one of the first psychiatrists to give a damn about patients' rights and well being. My girlfriend told me about him. So I care blah blah blah. Well, can I use the syringe on this thing? There's some kind of message stuck in the tube. There must be a mechanism that lets me. Well, okay, I guess not. Guess we'll just go to the next room and then come back. Mm -hmm. Ladies first. We still have that room to go in. Nice one. Nice one. Oh boy medicine books Ooh. 
Dr. Persegard was right. At first, it was dismissive of, I, at first I was dismissive of her experiment. Why waste all those resources on proving to a sick girl that what she claimed to see was due to the abnormal functioning of her psyche? Yet it all made sense when she subjugated the patients to the song in the music box and when the doctor began to describe her own experiences. The rapid mental and cognitive decline and the hallucinations suffered by the subjects in the experimental group became impossible to ignore. Faced not only with a new disorder, but also once the effects a new disorder, but also once the effects described spread to the hospital staff the first time in history, a contagious mental illness, a Nobel Prize on a silver platter. Oh, <laughs> what? In light of the results, however, facts confound my expectations. The song completely broke their minds and took them all at the pinnacle of their madness. That's the one thing the data shows that they all share in common, except for Ariadne Legrand Amsberg. That girl is the only one from the group that is still with us. Her cell is the only... one free of horrible screaming, and hers is the only behavior that hasn't changed. She's the only one to have gone on unscathed, and yet she still acts exactly as she did before the experiment. I think Dr. Pressegard was right about the reasons for this. Ariadne's file indicates that she was exposed to the song when she was barely a few months old. She was a baby, her mind a blank canvas with a limitless capacity for adaptations. Not like this. We broke and we are going to break. Or, or we are going to break. Ariadne's mind, like a young tree bending under the un unbearable forces, has not snapped but rather grown in a different way. It is twisted and therefore can no longer be broken. The song, the dark figure, the horrible visions, and the dreams are simply her, norm her, her normality, her everyday life since she can remember. If only I can find Dr. Pressegard and tell her, tell her she was right. There's no solution. What will become of us all? Book. Right. Right. Mm. This helps me hear other, thi other things I otherwise, c oh, things I otherwise couldn't. Oh, we're gonna have to use it on the asylum doors. Stop that. Stop that right now. So there was that thing that was stuck in the tube, but it didn't like. It doesn't. It's not acting like it's a puzzle. Like I have anything to reach in there. It's just like there. <sighs> Damn it! I don't want to go to the cells. <sighs> ah, I don't want to go to that. Is this still scary? We don't want to go in here. Yep. Do not want to go in there. It's been a while since I've gotten a spoop, so I'm waiting for one. We walk. Running down the stairs. jump scare oh well <laughs> there's not not jump scares now we get to go in the creepiest part of this whole place alrighty Yikers, don't want to go in there. Nope. Nope. Which side are we on? Okay, all three of these suck.
Hmm? Huh? What? What am I missing here? Should I go back in here? Mm, no. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, let me see. What am Um, sorry, also, uh, hardcore, because you're not, um, because this is the first time I've seen you. I'm sick right now, <laughs> uh, but I really wanted to fucking finish this game. Um, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna grab some water. Um, give me, like, two seconds. Okay, I found water. We're ready to try and figure out what the hell I'm supposed to be doing right now. I guess I go back upstairs. Uh, wait, can I open that now? <laughs> yeah, sometimes it does that. Can I go in the in these now? Can I go in here? Let me in. Damn it. Doesn't look like I'll be able to open this gate. I'm almost really okay. Yes, yeah, not. Plan B, which is go upstairs again. I hate that one. I hate you can see its fucking feet. <laughs> okay, upstairs.
What are you looking for? So, I'm looking for what next to do. Um, usually on the map, like, uh, well, there's not one on here now, but usually on the map when I've been somewhere that I need to, like, find an item, there's, like, a little cog, um, or if there's, like, a puzzle, there's a puzzle piece, um, I guess I missed something? I mean, the, oh, I've been in here before. I think I've found everything. The only thing I'm thinking of is, oh, wait, okay. Mechanism. Uh -uh. That's confusing me. Do I can't spell along to this guy. We'll be going in there, I guess. Here, maybe? Oh. Well, there goes- yeah. Where is- Sorry, I've just been lurking, but have you done anything with the syringe yet? <gasps> Fuck! Damn it! <laughs> uh. It's about time. It's been uh, it's been too long. <laughs> well, there was the first jump scare, sort of. What the hell? Uh, what the hell did I use that one? something and broken it yet <clears throat> oh I guess the uh, I, I guess the thingy in here is broken. 
Uh, the door handle? That just broke? Um. Oh, that room I was just in. Okay. Yes, I'm in here. Is the photograph thing in there? Yes, it's right here. Do you mean with the message inside of it? Uh, yeah, this, that's what I was thinking too. That tube thing. But like, I'm annoyed because the door, the door to that room, the handle fucking broke. You can go ahead and Cedric's office again. Can you use the knob for the handle? Um, I don't think I can pick it. I don't think it'll let me pick it up. Let me make sure there's nothing else in here. Um, wait, can I go in this room now? Uh-uh. Okay, let me make sure it's not on the ground. Unless there's another one, you should be able to repair unless you don't have the tape to listen to. I have the tape. I do have the tape. Yeah, because it says to find another one, but, like, I literally have not found another one at all. Which tape do you have? I have two. I really thought I was gonna be genius to be able to pick up the knob and use it. <laughs> if only it were that easy. <clears throat> Wait, is there one in the dining hall that I missed? So I'm trying to think of places that I checked for one. Have you been in the transcription room? Yes, I think so. Where is that? I feel like I should just go to go back to those rooms because um Okay, how do I get there again? to go down the fucking stairs. Yeah. 
Get glurkin. Oh, I just wanted to see what that did in my bed. No, you're good, you're good. Back upstairs. <clears throat> okay. We can't open that. door here oh my god two candles but lighted only one in case I wake up before dawn it would terrify me to be here alone in the dark I'm in Ariadne's room again the second dream Oh, no, 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 child. The hospital, it can't be real, right? Oh, my God. Fuck. Death is everywhere in this place. Uh, <laughs> every single bottle contains poison. <gasps> My God, is this our fate as well? Yes. Because those instruments had been put, had been on the oven for a hundred years. There's a lock on the gate. Who are you? Are you also me? Oh my god. Give it to me. You don't need it. Should I give her my dream catcher? What will happen if I if I lost it? Oh. Mysterious key. A key found in dream. Does this key open the door? My own psyche. Dude, this is fucking creepy. Yeah. I have no choice. I must keep going. Almost as if all of us heard the song when we end up like this. <sighs>
again with the door. Holy fuck, close that shit. <laughs> Only one way out. Oh shit. No, why would I need an owl for? Where did that come from? What's going on? Oh my god. Oh no. A knife. Rope. Oh. There's no other way out. Should I drink from this bottle? <coughs> Arsenic? Hmm. Well, I guess so. What the Here we go. Something like that. I know I'm closer to understanding. Just giving her shit to kill herself. To find yep. that last puzzle piece. But I also realize there's no turning back. I feel like I've broken something inside of me that can't be mended. Each dream feels closer to that place. And further from reality, it's still dark outside. But it seems like the candle burned out a while ago. It must be close to dawn. Yes, it can't be long now. I have to find answers. Oh my god. Get to the bottom of this matter. I understand Ariadne and what is happening to me. The story goes on Fingers. and it only gets worse. Baroness, what did you find? I need to find out for myself. You know, it wasn't strong enough to play the cylinder, it's broken. Well, I have just the thing. I think with a new needle, the phonograph should be good. I just put a new fucking needle in there! What do you mean? Oh, well, I guess I don't have another thing to play on it. <laughs> Could hide in here. Worst comes to worst. Oh, good. What the fuck? Ah. <laughs> I to, like turn my camera there. What? Hello? Hello? Wait, where have we not been? Okay, we haven't been in either of those doors. Okay, well, we're going in this one first. This room. It's the same one where Berenice interviewed Ariadne in that film. Lost drawings. I got them all. Turn of the century. Psychiatry books. Huh. Looks like there's something. They tore something from their wall. I wonder what. Oh! Puzzle time! Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Big, big puzzle time, baby. Tr 
<laughs> Shit, where do we need to, where do we need the steam to be? Because I'm assuming that's what powers this thing. This, this, uh, this tube. Yes, indeed it is. Okay, where was that? Where was the thing in the tube? It was in, uh, this room. Right next to director. I'm trying to figure this out. What makes the steam go steam go burr? I'm gonna be honest, I don't get this fucking puzzle at all. I'm just, uh. Uh. Okay, where are we currently? Hold on. Where are we currently? Because we want. Oh, shit. I hate when I do that. Um, we are in. Some room? <laughs> um. need to check out exactly what I unblocked. I fucking did it, I guess. What? Uh Okay, it's right across the hall. I literally can't believe I got that. I just was fucking with... <sighs> Whatever. Whatever. It worked. Hell yeah. The last cylinder. The last cylinder. Please, Baroness. Give me something I can use. Oh boy, we're close. We are close. So close you can almost taste it. This can only go well. This place. That thing. The presence. That's what Argos Legrand called that horror. Now I know why. It's anywhere the song is. In the hospital. In Ariadne. In me. Everywhere. Maybe there's no solution. Maybe it isn't something you can just end. But maybe... Cut it off from everything. From... From this world. Burn the bridge. Return the song to whence it came. If I take the box to that place, if I leave it there, with the presence, I need to push forward just a little longer. I need to understand. I need to put an end to this. I need to go there. <laughs> I 
You know, that sounds like something that I don't personally want to do, but, um... I need to know. I need to make it. Oh, lordy... Ariadne, do you need my help or do I need yours? The hell is this? What? Wall is deteriorating, giving way to something else or someplace new. Here we go! Going down, good lord. Ooh, chills. Got games by the pound. Oh, boy. Where am I? Ariadne, did you want me to come here? <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, what the fuck? Maybe if I turn out the lantern, but isn't that me? What will happen if, if I turn it off? Should I turn it off? I mean, uh. I'm so sorry. <gasps> oh. She meant. Listen, there's no time to waste. Get out of there. I'll take it from here. Oh, doggy. Hooey. Ariadne was right. She was right about everything. I've seen it with my own eyes. Even if it was in dreams, it's true. That place. For presence. I know what I have to do. Now that I'm awake, I need to... I need to get the music box and find a way to take it there. Yes. I solved this riddle. Now that I'm awake, I can put an end to this horror once and for all. Now that I'm awake, I can... I can... Awake. Oh, 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 shit! Finale. What 
saved Ariadne would not save me. She had grown up with that melody and had developed a mind so distorted that it could withstand the horrors it saw each day. But there was another way out. To break the connection between our reality and that terrible place. To take the song and its nightmares to their place of origin. I was the only person who could do it. The only one who had heard the melody and, so far, lived to tell the story. Time was running out. The mansion was still far away, and my damned car chose that precise moment to go belly up. Everything seemed to conspire against me, but I wasn't about to give up. There wasn't much time left, but I knew I still had a chance. Oh boy. Oh boy. Back to a scary house. Will Ariadne just let you have it, though? That is the Come question. On, you got this. Can't see Ariadne from here. I have no sane activity inside the house. Exit. What? What? We can't see. It doesn't make sense. A mirror. Mrs. Legrand, pardon me for barging in like this, but I need that box. The box, the music box I gave you. I need it. Please tell me where it is. It's box. Is upstairs. Thank you. I promise I'll free both of us from that cursed thing. Upstairs, Mr. Neuer. In my room. There. It doesn't like the light. Mm. Oh boy! for some spicy meatballs.
This doesn't look like her room. What up, Shen? Uh -uh. No. No. No way. Well, I guess I was right. Oh. I guess it was in there. How are you doing, Shen? <laughs> Doing so good. Oh, <gasps> fuck. <laughs> where am I? You're exactly where you wanted to go. Good God. What is the city's place? Welcome to the after. You're in another chapter. Take a seat, pal. Look at your disaster with laughter. Dr. Prist God. <gasps> oh! Oh! He! What? What's happening? You haven't heard the song, but I don't remember who they are. Oh, is this a puzzle? We got a puzzle, boys? Machine will play the melody in the cell that I pick. I need to choose carefully. Six subjects will be made to listen to Ariane's muted box procedure has already begun set. Exposing four of these subjects to the music was surprising for Ariadne as a control patient. Did not present any changes after listening to the music herself. Um, okay, so Ariane is on one side. Okay, hold on. A solar eclipse towering over a great expanse. Have you seen anything like that in your dreams? Have you recently dreamed about an eclipsed sun? Okay, so five and six have heard it. Ariadne, are you there? He always lies. The man next door. He always lies about his dreams. Okay, so five needs to hear it. Have you recently dreamed about an eclipsed sun? A solar eclipse towering over a great expanse. Have you seen anything like that in your dreams? Have you recently dreamed about Okay, I think it's five and one. Sun. 
Fuck. Well, I'm pretty sure it's five and one. Maybe two? <laughs> I'm just guessing at this point. I think it's five, one, and two. Oh, I can't be. Uh, help me, please. Oh, yeah. Oh no. The lantern blew out. If I could just do the same with the rest. Argos Legrant. Should I knock? Hell yeah. This is unreal. Ooh, Kazooie. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, fuck. Ariadne? Ariadne, where are you? Ariadne, hold on. Dad is going to save you. Just monsters. No! 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 <laughs> Ruh <-ro. laughs> Oh fuck! Oh shit! Oh fuck! Run, bitch, run! Run, 
bitch, run! Or did he? Same. Same, that's what I'm thinking. Like, um, did we do it? Or... Time to go tell Ariadne. <sighs> oh my god. Everything will be okay, Mrs. Legrand. Ah, and that song will never play in this world again. turn on the light. No. He doesn't like the light. No. But it likes the sound. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun! I mean, it sounds to me that you actually shouldn't take this box to the place that it wasn't. You should just fucking bury it. And everyone who's heard it should just, you know, I guess die. Sucks. <laughs> uh, but then I guess, like, all of the things that heard it and died are now in that place. <laughs> like, oh, let me out. No, you are cursed. You actually are just dead. <gasps> Sorry, bro. Damn, that was a fucking good game. Ugh, that was such a good game. Fuck. That was like the perfect amount of scare. That was like the perfect amount of scare to like exploring, to puzzle, to whatever else. I mean, after leaving it, he probably should have left the house. Yeah, true. He should not have been like, yo, Ariadne, destroy the box, bro. I'm gonna sit on your couch. No, I'd been like, I would have been like, all right, left the box there. Peace, bitches. I'm out. 
done with this. Bye. Although he probably still would have died, considering everything. But like still. Ah. Uh, that was so good. Ah, uh, that was so good. Uh, very good suggestion, Sarcy. Thank you, Sarcy, for the game suggestion. Um, <laughs> John just yelled, thank you, Sarcy. <laughs> Um, okay, so that's it for uh, Song of Horror. Woo! Um, the next game I think that I'm going to play is Hellblade. Uh, I think. I'm like, I'm like 95% sure. Um, we're going to play Hellblade next and that's going to start tomorrow. Uh, and I will be streaming in about two hours. Some Blue Mage. Uh, so I'm gonna go take a little break, kind of chill and vibe, and I will see you guys in about two hours. But thank you so much for watching Song of Horror. 10 out of 10 game. You should absolutely play it if you didn't watch a whole bunch of it. But even if you did, just play it anyway. <laughs> uh, Alright. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.